Um, hold on. <laughs> Alright, um, year in review, uh, today is the 5th of December? December 6th, 2014. December 18th. December 16th. 20th. December 19th. December 12th. December 21st. 20, 21st. And I'm glad to have... <laughs> Glad to have exp I'm glad to have I'm glad to have Bluetooth because otherwise I wouldn't be able to listen to music in the car with my dad and jam out. And music is pretty awesome. I want to listen to it for a really long time. I'm glad to have been able to experience the people on YouTube that I enjoy to watch their content and to really have fun with with worth watching them. Friends in my life who are older than me. Um, and I'm glad to have this because. I know they know more than me, and that that fact is is very helpful. I'm just trying to say that having older friends makes me it makes me feel more mature and high and mighty. But it also keeps me grounded because it reminds me that there is more than taking AP tests and kind of sleeping afterwards. Um, and that's that's good to have, and I'm glad to have that. This year, I'm glad to have more time for reflection and. In, in a way, less time with electronics. That's been nice because I can think more clearly as much as I'd like to lie to myself and say electronics are easier to think around, they're not. Uh, I have really gotten a chance this year to organize my thoughts when I need to and that's, that's, that's really nice. Uh, I'm glad to write more this year because writing is really what I love and I, and I I took a summer camp in writing for the first for the first time in like seventh grade and it was actually a lot of fun. And, you know, I, I I really enjoyed doing that and I really enjoyed the experience of just having the freedom to write whatever I want and get back into the into the rhythm of that. I've been able to make friends on my bus as simple as it might seem because before on the bus I didn't really ever talk to anyone and this is probably the last year I'm gonna be on the bus. And I'm glad to have made the friends that I have, and I'm glad to have that experience of riding with them, and it's kind of silly, but... Being able to give advice to those younger than me who I babysit, because I think it's really important to have an impact on someone's life, and it's crazy that I'm old enough to now do that, and I remember people, people having an impact on my life like that, and being able to do it now is just... It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Our future generation is absolutely crazy. I'm, I've also really enjoyed um, meeting new people because every year I'm, I want to stay in the same friend group. I want to stay with the same people that I promised that I would stay with the year previous. Um, and when I don't, it's, it's often a moment of, oh, what do I do? But uh, this year, I've just kind of, I've rolled with it. I have said if these people, if you want to hang out with me, these people like me, it's cool, that's great. And I have new friends that are other than the friends I have, and that's okay. I can still keep the friends I had before. And that's something that's always been hard for me, which became at least a little bit easier this year. Bob talked about hopes for the new year. I, I hope I get better at, um, be motivated because I'm not ever motivated to do stuff very often and if I'm ever motivated it's stuff that I want to do not stuff that I have to do like schoolwork and I really hope I'm more motivated to do stuff in the future.